that seem to be just sort of randomly scattered. In fact, they are in very precise locations in what we call an anchorage. And they're all waiting. They're waiting at anchor either for a dock to open up so they can load or unload cargo, or they're waiting to go to sea. If they're waiting to go to sea, it could be for fuel, supplies, a crew change, or word from their dispatcher on where to go next. It's hard for us to tell which. The Devon, for instance, over here on the left, owned by Euronav, is an oil tanker. Generally, an oil tanker... I know it is. Would be I thought we were going to go sea. on that other side, but and we did it. Full, it's waiting to go into the dock because we don't export oil. But in the Devon's case, is it half full? Or is it ballasted down? If it's half full, it could be waiting for a dock. If it's ballasted down, it's just about ready to go to sea. And if you look at the top of the rudder right behind the ship, right there, you can see a bump. That's a sea lion. That is how sea lions can jump out of the water. It's pretty good. They can jump about six feet. Something else that would surprise that Portuguese explorer Juan Cabrillo are the four islands that are located within Long Beach Harbor. The islands include Chaffee in the distance to the right, followed by Freeman and White Island just up ahead of us, and Grissom Island is closer to downtown. These islands weren't here when Cabrillo came through. Actually, these islands are new. They were built back in the mid-1960s by the oil companies. The oil companies wanted to drill for oil here in Long Beach Harbor. Nobody wanted the more traditional oil rigs that you might see if you drive the coast road from Santa Barbara to San Clemente. So these islands are really nothing more than an oil rig or an oil platform. Each one of them today is supporting its share of the more than 1,200 oil wells which have been drilled here in Long Beach Harbor beneath the waters we're cruising on since the islands were built back in the mid-1960s. Each island is producing between five and 6,000 barrels of oil every week. More than 1,200 oil wells now in Long Beach Harbor. In each island, five to 6,000 barrels of oil a week. This is a mooring area we're passing through at the moment. A place where these barges can simply tie to one of these floating steel buoys in temporary storage. The barge over on the left, which looks as though it's sinking, is an old bay barge undergoing some pretty serious renovations and repairs and not in service this summer. The other barges we see out here are engaged in various aspects of transportation, maintenance, or construction.